Hello and welcome to Microsoft Power Automate Tutorials. Today we will learn how to extract the test from an image by using AI Builder with test recognition pre-built model. Where we can find this test recognition pre-built model as part of AI Builder. If you see on my screen, I'm having AI Builder, expand that and over there you can find the build option. Click on that. Over here, you can find the customized models or else you can see over here, get straight to your productivity. You can see all the A models which is already pre-built. Over there, you can see test recognition. By using this AI model, we can automatically process the text from our images which we are going to do. Now, as part of this tutorial, we are going to learn how to extract the text from an image. So that I'm going to use this test recognition AI model. Click on that. You can see over here the test recognition and you can see get started while you are having it automatically process the text from our images. And there is no need of to customize our pre-built AI model. If you see the best practices over here, what to do, use the images with just one column of text and don't use images with multiple columns. It's a like you know, in such a way, you don't have to be multiple columns in the particular image. And then you can see use clear and high contrast images. Don't use low contrast text images over here. And after that, if you see over here, we can use this pre-built AI model. We can use in flow or we can use in the apps. Now, as part of Power Automate, we are going to use, we are going to recognize the text from our images by using Test recognition model. Please remember this model name over here, text recognition. All right. Now let me click on use in Niflow. It will give some templates over here to extract text from images using AI Builder test recognition on button click. I don't want to use this already existing templates. I will create my own flow by using create. Click on create to create a new flow for the text recognition. And I'm going to select a flow with instant cloud flow. Click on that. I'm going to give the name as text recognition flow. All right. Now I'm going to trigger it manually over here. Manual trigger a flow. And then I'm going to click on create. Now before starting this flow, let me show you an input over here. If you see on my screen, I'm having an image with triggers.png. And inside that image, this is the entire image, I'm having some text over here. So I want to extract this text by using text recognition pre-built model, all right? So that what I will do, I will give it this image or any image as an input to my flow. And then I will extract the text by using text recognition model. And then I will store or I will display the output in some Excel. This is my agenda over here to create a flow. All right. Now, manually trigger a flow. What is the input for that? I'm going to give the input over here as file. This file, I'm going to give it as input image. And then you can see over here, please select a file for an image. So now over here, what I'm going to do, I'm going to give it an image by manually. But in the real time scenario, what you will do, you will get the images from, you know, from mails or if you want, you can get it from the browser, wherever you require, you can extract the images or else in some cases that you, you know, you are going to give the images and then you are trying to extract the data or the text which we are having inside the image. All right. So I'm going to select the input image over here as file and then I'm going to click on new step. So the step is that the next step is we have want to extract the image. So by using text recognition pre-built model where we can get that model. Over here in that I am going to use AI builder. There we are going to use predict over here. Just now I'm going to select predict AI builder. And you can see over here our model is already pre-built. So we don't want to publish this model right now, right? We can directly use that model. What is the name of the model? I just asked you to remember that one, right? That is text recognition model. Select that. 
for this test recognition model we are having the input over here so if you see the image over here the image which we have uh, you know which we are going to be processing or importing that the image we are going to give it over here now for the image when you click on that i'm having the input type over here you can see the input image i'm going to select that this is the output from the manually triggering a flow all right now we have selected an image and we have processing our image by using text recognition model now what i have to do that by using this predict by using this model that is text recognition model we will get it output as text so that i want to store somewhere this output let me show you where the text i am going to store it i'm not making it complex so i'm just trying to you know insert the data into one of the excel whatever the text that we got it i'm just going to insert into the excel so if you see on my screen i'm having an excel with the name of test recognition that is my book name workbook name and inside that i am having text in the column and inside that what are the data that I have extracted i will put it one by one over here in each and every row all right now click on new step over here i'm going to use excel online business and after that as an action i'm going to use add a row into the table and i'm going to select location and document library as one drive the file which we are going to select test recognition is our workbook that which we are going to select to store the data and then the table if you see over here i'm having table one where i need to insert that once we are going to select table one it will pop up the data with text it, this is the column right what is the column that i need to select and that is the output from the predict right so first i'm going to select the predict page numbers because of for each and every page number that i'm going to detect the text and now let me click on save now our flow is ready to extract the data or to extract the text from an image to test our flow click on text i'm going to use manually and then i'm going to click on save and test now over here it is asking for input image i'm going to import the image which i have shown right this is the image right once i have given this image i need to extract the data and then it has to save into the test recognition all right let me select the image over here i'm going to select triggers.png and then i'm going to click on open now let's run the flow by clicking on run flow our flow is started running and you can see it is trying to gather the information by using manual trigger flow and then it is trying to predict and then you can see the data each and every data it is going to be going in a such a way it is writing the data for each and every line i'm not opening all the lines at the same time i'm going to take one by one row and then it is going to write the data over here now if you see over here let me keep side by side the output and and the input what we have given you can see triggers this is the first one and each and every row it has been considered as a line on all the data till that you know each and every data it has been extracted and it has been given as an output by using test recognition pre-built model all right now our flow also executed successfully that you can see within 24 seconds it has been extracted the text and why it has been taken this much of time it is each and every line it is going to be inserting or adding a new row for each and every line that's the reason that we got it uh, that way it has been taken that much of time now if you see over here each and every step over here now when you observe the inputs that you can see the title is input image that what we have given and the outputs you can see over here you can see over here what kind of conversion it has been done and what is the output that it has done all the things over here it, you got it as an output and you can see content bytes all the day you can see the name as triggers.png this is the raw output that what we have just to make you understand i'm just showing these things and you can see the predict i'm using test recognition model and the output you can see over here the output in such a way that we are having number of pages with the output and the lines you can see over here the lines of data you can see the data over here each and every line we have been taken over here and that the data will be shown as an output and the coordinates how it is going to be retrieving the data and you can see the prediction output this is the output how it is going to be getting the data 
all right now finally by using our excel it has been writing the data inside our excel by using each and every line that you can see i'm having number of pages as one and in the apply to what it is happening it is going to be fetching the data and we are having 12 rows as the text data and every row it has been added into the excel by using add a row into the table this is how we are going to recognize the text in the particular image by using ai builder with text recognition pre-built model i hope you understand how to work with ai builder by using text recognition pre-built model to extract the text from an image as part of this tutorial thank you for watching power automate tutorials if you have any queries related to this concept please post them in the comment section i will see you in the next session till then bye bye have a wonderful day